to stress less in three steps. Why am I so stressed? All around me are noises, glares, and electronics overload. Let us see how to de-stress in three steps. 1. Noisy sounds I am surrounded by too many noises. In the car, the radio blares. At work, there's a sea of surrounding sound waves. In public, noisy sounds swarm and swirl around me. My ears do not have an off switch. Throughout human history, ears warn our ancestors of dangers. How do we hear? Sound waves enter my ears. Tiny hairs and cell sensors change sounds into electricity. My ears send this audio input to my brain. My brain listens to the sounds that I say are important. Simply said, to stress less, I try quiet. I turn off the music and noise. I seek quiet places where I can listen to my own thoughts. 2. Light flares. Sunlight is the power source for life on Earth, including us. I am also surrounded by a visual flood of the glowing glares from artificial lights. This includes light bulbs, LEDs, and the sea of screens. How do my eyes work? Seeing starts when light enters my eyes. These cells send sight signals to my brain. Based on my interests, my brain sorts out which sights to pay attention to. Brains ignore most eye signals. My brain only has so much storage space. Think about how much visual data my eyes send to my brain. To compare, video streaming sends megabytes of data every second. Think how much data enters my brain. Simply said, I stress less when I close my eyes to shut off the light streams of optical overload. I get more sunlight like a nature walk to recharge my eyes with real light inputs. Also, we can seek out a dark spot free from light pollution. The dark sky canvas is sprinkled with cosmic starlight and hope. When you find yourself in a dark place, stare at the stars. Ideas and awe fill our optical senses. They bring light and perspective into mind's gray matter. Throughout our history, we humans grow up with sunlight. Today, we also find ourselves surrounded by overlit seas of people-made lights. 3. Electronics Overload Today, we constantly touch, hear, and see our many electronic objects. Wow! It's amazing! We have so much info and electric ability at our one-click fingertips. Before we can de-stress, we need to impress the importance of one simple fact. Our brains have limits. We only have so many brain cells. That is, we have about 100 billion neurons. This is like a 100 GB disk drive. Each brain cell connects to thousands of other neurons. This is how we think and remember things. Everyday tech overloads our senses and brains. I wonder, do stronger electronics cause us to be mentally weaker? The result of the constant deluge of sounds, sights, and screens is stress. At some level, our overloaded brain thinks all input signals are real. This is why video games and action movies make our hearts beat faster. We cry at something sad on screen. We laugh at electro funny things too. Simply said, I stress less when I push the power off button on my electronics. I turn down sound inputs. I switch off cell phones. I close cyber eyelids on all the screens within my sights. From time to time, we can enter ourselves into tech-free zones. An 
opportunity to reconnect with our own minds and not the constant data deluge of electronics overload. How about a tech-free Tuesday when we exercise off buttons? Least we forget how to think for ourselves. The mind like a muscle needs to exercise to stay fit. Electro off buttons enable us to exercise control over our sentient minds and independent selves. We stand alone on the shores of our own mind to reconnect our ability to self-think. To close, my brain is amazing. It thinks, pays attention, and remembers. My brain also has a limit. Too much info input causes me stress. I feel less stress when I balance, sounds, and quiet times. Human-made lights with real sunlight and some starlight thinking too. Simply said, switching these off and switching this on de-stresses me. It gives me a stressless, self-thinking, and sentient human. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 3 million free Alfred ebooks have been downloaded 